U.S. President Joe Biden looking relieved as he returned from his Thanksgiving break, encouraged by the steady release of hostages. He's backing calls for the pause in fighting to be extended. That's my goal. That's our goal, to keep this pause going beyond tomorrow so that we can continue to see more hostages come out and surge more humanitarian relief into, into those in, who in need in Gaza. Biden made that point directly to the Israeli prime minister during a phone call Sunday as the White House faces increasing pressure to re-examine its response to the war. The president has gone out on a limb here. He's gone out on a limb generally uh, for Israel um, and is paying a political price for it. Biden is losing support among young and progressive voters over this issue, according to recent poll numbers. And in my view... And a new proposal by Senator Bernie Sanders to impose conditions on U.S. aid for Israel is gaining traction. During an interview with CNN, Democratic Senator Chris Murphy said he'd back the idea. We um, regularly condition our aid to allies um, based upon compliance with U.S. law and international law. And so I think it's very consistent with the ways in which we have dispensed aid. Biden appeared open to the proposal as well. Well, I think that's a, 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 a worthwhile thought, but I don't think if I started off with that, we'd ever gotten to where we are today. But his national security advisor downplayed any potential change in U.S. response. And when he answered that question, he acknowledged the idea, but then he said in the same breath, that the approach that he has taken is what has been generating results. The temporary pause in fighting is just that, temporary. The White House has to now decide if it will continue with its unwavering support of Israel once that fighting resumes. Katie Simpson, CBC News, Washington.